Fairlight is a DAW built into the DaVinci Resolve video editor, and more importantly, it's completely free. Today, we're continuing our series on Fairlight with the sound library. You can access the library panel from the interface toolbar. Use this for browsing sound effects libraries either on your system or on a SAN you're connected to. It's capable of scanning specific file paths to catalog available sound files and their metadata, storing this data within a project library to use when searching for the sound effect within your library. Once you've cataloged your sound effects collection, it's easy to search for sounds, preview the sounds found in the list, and drop that file into your timeline. Fairlight actually offers a royalty-free collection of 500 professionally recorded Folly sounds that you can use in your own projects, which are directly downloadable from the sound library panel. I also have a Digetic audio library. You can check it out at the link in the description. It's all completely free, and that's what we're going to be working with today. Clicking the library button to the right of the search field will reveal a menu that lets you choose which project library to use for searching and cataloging sound effects collections. If you've not yet connected a library of sound effects, an add library button will appear in the center of the sound library. Click this button and select the topmost directory of a file path that contains sound effects. If you selected a directory with subdirectories inside, each subdirectory will be examined for content. If you're adding more sound effects to an existing library, then click the options menu and choose add library. From the file, dialog that appears, select the topmost directory of a file path that contains sound effects and click open. A progress bar will show you how long the operation will take, and when you're finished, a dialog will appear letting you know how many clips were added to the current library. The sound library title bar can sort the sound effects list showing it in list or icon view and option menu with other settings and commands. Underneath, a text field lets you enter search terms, while a drop-down menu to the right lets you choose whether to search the current project library for sound effects by name, description, metadata, or all. To search for a specific sound effect and edit it into the timeline, type a search term into the search field. The case of search terms is ignored except for Boolean operators. To help you eliminate false positives, the search field supports different kinds of searches, such as literal searches and or not Boolean searches, while card searches and ranges of characters. Simply typing words separated by a space is treated as a series of OR searches for each word independently of one another. Using AND, which must be uppercase, lets you specify multiple criteria for a search. Each file that's returned should contain every word you type somewhere within in any order. Using NOT lets you omit sound effects that have a particular word. Literal searches using quotations will specify a literal search for only the specific specified term separated from the other text by a space. With wildcard and range searches, the asterisk specifies a wildcard search. Adding an asterisk between two search terms identifies any sound effect where the two search terms are connected by any number or combination of characters. The question mark specifies a wildcard search specifying only a single character, whereas a number of question marks specifies how many characters of wildcard searches you want to perform. All sound effect clips that match the current search criteria appear in a scrollable list. Double clicking anywhere on an item of this list plays that sound effect in its entirety. You also have an overview of the sound effect in the list. The clip name is the name of that sound effect file in the storage system. Below that is the description that contains any metadata that's embedded within the files of professionally created sound effect libraries. To the right of that, the duration shows the length of that sound effect file. The number to the right of that is the audio channel number, and this shows shows the number of channels in that sound effect file. To the far right is a star rating, which is a clickable control that you can use to rate sound effects within DaVinci Resolve. The waveform display shows the waveform stretch to fit within the box provided, regardless of the actual length of the file. When you select an item in the sound effect list, you load it into the preview player, where you can play it or audition it in your timeline using the controls underneath the search field. In the preview player, the clip name is the name of the current clip you've selected. The next and previous buttons let you select the next or previous sound effect clip from the sound effect list. Zoom control will let you control the zoom level of the playthrough waveform. The duration field shows the duration of the current clip or of the selection of the clip marked with in and out points. The playhead timecode field indicates the timecode of the playhead's position and the navigation waveform is where the waveform of the entire sound effect appears, making it easy to jump to different parts of the selected clip. When playing back a track with multiple channels, all channels are summed together. The playthrough waveform is a zoomed in 
section of the selected clip that lets you see more waveform detail for setting in, out, and sync points. The jog bar will let you scrub around the clip. The transport controls let you control playback, although you can also just use the spacebar and JKL controls. You can right click the stop button to switch it into stop and go to last position mode. The marking controls has a sync point button that allows you to mark which frame of the sound effect you want to use to sync to the frame of the timeline when you audition. In and out points lets you mark how much of the sound effect clip you want to edit in the timeline. Audition controls put you in audition mode where the currently selected sound effect clip appears at the position of the playhead in the currently selected timeline track. Cancel and confirm buttons will let you choose whether you want to remove the clip from the timeline and try again with another clip or leave the sound effect clip in. Two audition clips you found in the timeline, select a sound effect clip that you found in the list that you want to audition. In the sound effect library, use the scrubber bar to move the play head to the part of the sound effect that you want to sync to and click the sync point button to place the sync mark on that clip. Then set in and out points to define the range of the sound effects you want to use. Select a track you want to preview the sound effect in by clicking the header or mixer channel strip and position the playhead at the place of the timeline that you want to align the sync mark you set to. Next click the audition button in the sound library. That clip will now appear temporarily in the timeline and you can play through that section of the timeline line to see how you like the sound effect in context with the rest of your mix. Finally, if you like the sound effect, click confirm to keep it in the timeline. If you don't like it, click cancel and it disappears from the timeline. Here's a playlist of other videos I've made about DaVinci Resolve's Fairlight. If you found this helpful, consider subscribing.